Hey guys, this is Princess Solucid and I am doing a uh, one of my filler reviews. Uh, today I'm doing a review on my Roman coin collection. Now these are real coins. I got them all five of them for $35 on eBay. And I will tell you in a little while why they're such a good investment. So we're going to start out with the first three that I have right here. So let's look at the first one. Oh, there we go, I got a pretty good focus actually. This is a um, Valentinian coin from the reign of the Emperor Valentinian the first, who was a late imperial emperor, and anyone who likes ancient history and studies up should know about his brother Valens, who was killed at the Battle of Adrianople, fighting the Goths. Um, yeah, he set up his brother as Emperor of the East, he was the Emperor of the West. And he was killed, he died of a, of a stroke. He was arguing with some barbarians he had defeated, and, and he got, went into a fit of anger and had a stroke and died. And apparently he was a military genius or something, so it's too bad. He put a couple of Rome together for a while. And supposedly he was emperor during Rome's last golden age, which basically meant that they weren't being sacked by barbarians constantly. Uh, yeah, so if you look closely, it says D and Valentini on it, and on the left side. On the right side, it has words, but they're unreadable. Now let's look at the back. Sorry. Each of these is uh, hand-struck, because they didn't have, like, mint machines. So each of them is slightly unique, so that's why the, the coin is, like, upside down and stuff, and some of them aren't. This one's a pretty good picture on the back. Now, people think that this is a picture of either Valentinian or one of his soldiers holding down a defeated barbarian. Notice the Cairo on top of the staff. This is after Constantine. Now, I've actually seen a picture of a Valentinian Solidus, the golden coin, $9,000 on eBay. So, ouch. And I can't read the words, but there's a D and an A, or a D and an S, I think, actually. The D is right by the staff, and the S is right behind the barbarian's head. And I think that has to do with where it was minted. So yeah, that's the first one. Hold on, I got sorry. The second coin is my personal favorite. It's a lot more detailed. I mean, my webcam is crappy, so you can't see much. But if you look really close, like you can see the de every detail on his hair. The words are really clear. It's just really, really good coin. So, and I think this and the second, these, this and the second one are definitely the same coin, but the mint marks are different. So, but it, it's a beautiful coin. It's really, really well preserved. You can see its clothes and everything. It's great. And I think the back on this one actually, yeah, the back on this one is exactly lined up with the front. It's a little bit harder to read the back, but. It's in perfect condition. It's just not like the other one where you can, uh, where everything, or the other one is uh, dirty in the, like, in the, in the crevices and stuff, but not on the outside. The only reason why this one looks less quality, is, or has less of a look to it, is because it doesn't, it's a little bit dirty. I tried to clean it, but I'm not going to touch them with the water, so it'll corrode. Um, this one has an F and an H on it. Again, I think it has something to do with where they're minted. The words are very, very visible. And you can see the guy's head and stuff. It's really, really nice. Now the third one. Um, this one, I think, is the same one, but it's just not as good quality, so I'm not really going to show all that much of it. I mean, it looks cool and I like it, but it's just not the same week as the other two. Now, this one is like a mirror image of the other one. The other one, on the other one, uh, hold on, let's see if I can do a comparison without dropping them. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, guys. Um, yeah, I guess. See how they're opposite sides? But I still think they're the same coin, so, yeah. Sorry about that. 
Now I'm moving on to the fourth one. This one is very intriguing. Now the front of it isn't very visible. I think it's a little bit worn. By the way, guys, these last two, I don't know what time period they're from or anything. So, or what emperor they are. So if you can tell me if you know anything about them, that would be great. I don't think this is a Valentinian. I could be mistaken, but I really don't think it is. I'm oh, sorry, that was my doors being shut. Um, someone tried to walk in during my filming. Um, but anyway, I don't think this is Valentinian. If you know anything about this particular form, please tell me. Please don't really give me anything fake that's not really helpful at all. And it just wastes my time. And that's less time for me to put up videos for you guys. So, um, yeah, I can't really make out the words, but some of the detailing like on the clothes and stuff and on the crown is good. But the detail on the face is kind of worn off. Now, the back is really what I wanted to show you. The back. Hold on, let me let it focus. Look at the back. It appears to be a man holding the hand of a child. And there, it seems like there's a wheat field in the back. And it, on the back, on the, the letters that are right here are very clearly H-A-T-I-O. Hatio. Or Hatio. In Latin. I don't know what that means. Um, I haven't actually researched it, so I may research it and put it in the comment section, but I don't think so. Uh, anyway, the... But th I'm going to start this thing where on each of my videos, my, like, the lyric reviews or whatever, I'm going to have this thing where you guys can, I'm going to give you guys something to discuss in the comment section. This makes the video kind of more interesting. So my discussion for today, or for this video, not necessarily for today, is what do you think this means? Now, like, the, the picture of the guy and the kid coming out of the wheat field. Now, nothing inappropriate, please. We all know that there are a lot of things you could say about it that wouldn't be appropriate, and I would please urge you not to do that. Um, I'm trying to keep my channel as clean as possible, and comment, dirty comments just really, really aren't acceptable, and I will ban you from my channel. So please, please, please be a, be a responsible, because you never know if, like, a little kid's going to accidentally click on this video and you don't really want to teach them anything. Not that necessarily that'll happen, but that's just a scenario. And really, I just want my channel to stay as clean as possible. So, yeah. But what do you think this means? Just comment on it. You can talk with people. Tell your friends to ask them what they think about it, you know. Just keep the comment section looking alive. Um, it's great. Now we're going to Move on to this last one here. Focus. Focus. There we go. I don't think this is Valentinian either. Uh, if you look at the head, the head has a more cranial type shape to it. So I don't really think it's Valentinian. Um, and the words are illegible, at least to me. I can make out some of the letters, but I'm trying to look at the screen and video this, and the screen is on the opposite side, so I'm not really going to be able to read that much. So if you pause it, you might be able to make out something, but I'm not seeing anything. Now the back is also very cool. Let's see if this is right side up. No, it's upside down. Sorry, guys. Just take it. Cool. Sorry, when it drops, I know it makes a loud clattering sound. But not. Now on here, it appears to be two legionnaires holding like a symbol or something, like a standard. And I think it's probably like to celebrate some kind of victory. Not entirely sure, but I think the what appears to be letters at the top and bottom are actually uh, numerals, which probably represent the legion. So yeah, but it's actually a pretty cool back on it. And I don't have much time, so I can't really show it too much. Sorry, guys. But it has some other words that are illegible. It probably has to do with the legion. So before I'm done, I want to show or tell you guys something about the first three that I showed you. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, because I know what they, or what they are, um, I actually completely found out by accident. Um, I was 
searching up Roman coins, and I saw a picture that looked exactly like mine. So I clicked on it, and I guess it was just completely accidental that I discovered that they're Valentinian, so or not Solidus's. Those are gold, and worth about $9,000. No. Um, they're Valentinian coins. Um, like I said, I got these five for $35. Um, I'll provide pictures at the end of the video so that you can uh, look at them without my hand in the way or anything, or without them being shaky or whatever. And you can see that I just wanted to, you know, show you and tell you with my own words and stuff. Um, so yeah, the this this one right here, the the not very clear one, it's worth anywhere from five to twenty dollars on eBay. I, like, I'm pricing these based on what I've seen on eBay, so that's probably not the most accurate pricing, but like I said, I'm pricing off eBay, so because I don't really know any sites that sell these, it's their only thing. So this one, in pretty good condition, I've seen anywhere from $25 to $100. So that's another good investment there. Now this one, the perfect condition one, this one, I'm talking like super, super, super good. I mean, um, really just beautiful coin. Details are perfect. I have no complaints whatsoever about this coin at all. Like I said, it's my favorite, so if it'll focus. There we go. It's my favorite. You can see like every detail in his hair and stuff. So I've seen coins like this, Valentinian, go for one to two hundred dollars. So just think about that. Even if at their their lowest price, this one's one hundred. This one, I'm sorry, this one is twenty five. This one is five. That's one hundred thirty bucks. That's ninety five. Yeah, ninety five more. Uh, yeah, ninety five more than I paid for all of them. And I don't even know what those are over there. So I mean, um, that's a good investment. So I'll put the, the pictures at the end of the video, and I'll also put the question at the end of the video in writing so you can get it straight and all that. And please, like I said, nothing inappropriate or I'll ban you from my channel. Nothing personal, just I want to keep it clean. So um, I will hopefully be posting more stuff soon when I get more stuff to post. Um, until next time, guys.